So what you're saying is while Microsoft scanning for secrets within GitHub is a positive step in the right direction, we still need to be concerned about where the secrets or access tokens live throughout the data estate, especially because developers are prone to collaborating and they might end up in places that we don't expect them. Hey Ryan, I know we've talked a little bit about GitHub in the past and a pretty interesting developments happened recently by Microsoft. What they are going to start to do is start to scan their code repositories in GitHub for secrets. So first off, for those of you who don't know, Ryan, can you tell us a little bit about what secrets are and why Microsoft would start scanning for them? Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, if we think about what GitHub is and what GitHub does is, you know, it's a code repository that stores things like source code and other you know, types of development items and, and code, essentially. Um, oftentimes, you know, developers and technical folks that are working on this code, you know, are, we're going to take the path of, path of least resistance. You know, we might be storing things like credentials or access tokens or ways to connect APIs directly into the code itself. Um, and these are prime targets for things like attackers that might be trying to leverage access into these different applications. So that's why Microsoft is starting to think about it, because more often than not, we're going to find things like these credential files or other sorts of you know, means of access within this code repo. So basically, the, the nice thing is, while um, these tokens exist and they're designed, of course, to grant access to different resources and authenticate um, we also have to, to keep in mind that GitHub maybe is not the only place that they might exist. Um, one of the things that come to mind is developers working together. Uh, we're, a lot of us are still working remote and sharing them in different ways. So through something like a Slack channel, um, it's I would imagine fairly common for them to collaborate that way to share the tokens uh, if they're jointly developing on code. So with that in mind, what are some ways that organizations should think about protecting their secrets, again, not just in GitHub, but again, across the data uh, estate in the cloud? You know, I, I think it starts with first taking stock of all the different applications that are connected within our technology stack and, you know, our broader cloud ecosystem, understanding where, you know, our technical folks and our technical departments are working, how are they com communicating, collaborating, uh, what kind of apps are connected to each other. You know, again, there's a really big concept of collaboration, but also interconnectivity between things like Slack and GitHub and other sorts of production workloads. So understanding where all these different items are connected, and those are going to be the generally the highest areas of risk and where we're most likely to be you know, sharing things like these access tokens and secrets and credential files, and then really just understanding who has access to them and what level of access they have. And, and that's a great way to start to get started around it. So... What you're saying is while Microsoft scanning for secrets within GitHub is a positive step in the right direction, we still need to be concerned about where the secrets or access tokens live throughout the data estate, especially because developers are prone to collaborating and they might end up in places that we don't expect them. Oh, yeah. 